Hey guys, welcome back to Nate's Journey. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on Planet Oat Milk. Um, this is the unsweetened version. There's also uh, one that is also sweetened, but um, I really wanted to try this out. This is uh, this seems to be a very common uh, replacement for regular milk. Um, and I'm not a big fan of almond milk, so this was one that I saw at Walmart and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to pick it up, give it a shot, see how it is. Um, and so let's go over the ingredients, let's go over the uh, macros and everything, and then let's try it. So, serving size, one cup, uh, calories, 45 calories per cup, uh, zero grams of saturated fat, uh, zero milligrams of cholesterol, 100 milligrams of sodium, eight grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, zero grams of sugar and added sugar, um, one gram of protein, um, four micrograms of vitamin D, 350 milligrams of calcium, 0 0.7 milligrams of iron, 340 milligrams of potassium, 180 micrograms of vitamin A, 0 0.13 milligrams of riboflavin, uh, vitamin B12, which is also 0 0.24 micrograms as well. Now, as far as the ingredients, we have oat milk, we have calcium carbonate, we have dipotassium phosphate, which is a stabilizer, we have natural vanilla, um, we have guar gum, we have sea salt, and we have Joanne gum and vitamin D2, all that good stuff. Um, I would imagine the guar gum is kind of just in there to kind of like give it some like texture and like thicken it up and stuff. So um, let's give it a try. It's uh, free from dairy, obviously, free from peanuts, gluten, soy, free from lactose. This is going to be one that a lot of people should try, mainly because not only because it's dairy free, but it's also... Uh, peanut free. There's all you know. There's a lot of peanut allergies out there. Soy free, gluten free as well, which is another big one. Um, so yeah, it looks really good. Um, for this one, I'm really hoping that it's kind of thicker than almond milk because I'm a huge milk fan. But any sort of dairy, even if it's lactose free, it always seems to like mess up my skin and give me acne really bad. So I've kind of tried to you know sway a little bit away from dairy. Um, it, it just caused a lot of bloating and stuff for me. So this looks like a good option. So I poured some in a wine glass. Um, I, I filled it about halfway up just in case it's like actually really bad. But um, yeah, let's give it a shot. See how it is. That's really good. That That is really good. Um, that's probably the second best thing I've had. Um behind milk. I've, obviously, it's not going to be as good as milk. Um, it's not as thick as milk because there's no saturated fat to kind of like balance it out, but it's very good. It's pretty thick too. Um, I mean, oats are a very, very dense uh, whole grain, so I guess I, you could really, you know, kind of guess why I'd be a little bit on the thicker side. Um, but it's very good. Let me try it again and see what... Yeah, but you know, this is also um, unsweetened vanilla. So the sweetened one is probably better, I would imagine. I mean, it's probably going to be sweeter. So I mean, if you like it sweeter, you could get that one. I just like the unsweetened just, you know, because I don't really feel the need to get the added sugars in, like the, the uh, extra added sugar. Um, it is vanilla flavored as well. I would recommend vanilla. I've never had the, um, the uh, plain oat milk. I'll have to try that one at some point as well. But the vanilla is very good. It's not. A, it's not a very strong vanilla. Like it's. It's there, but that. Yeah, that vanilla almost brings it like closer to regular milk. I don't know how it would taste without the vanilla flavoring. It could be really bad. Um, for me, regular milk is a ten. Like I love regular milk. This, on a rating of how close it is to regular milk, I would give it like an eight and a half. Um. As far as like actual flavor, I would probably give it, I would give it like a 7.7. .7. It's really good, um, but it almost has like a little bit of a, a little bit of an aftertaste. Like not a bad one at that at all, but just a little bit different, like. It, it's got like a little bit of a artificially chemical taste and that could be from the vanilla flavoring in here. Um, it could also be the oats. 
I mean, plain oats don't taste good. Like, if you've ever tried, like, plain, like, oatmeal without any flavoring or any, like, sort of protein or anything mixed in with it, it's really disgusting. Like, plain oats do not taste good at all. Um, that could be what it's from, but very, very solid. Like, for what, like, is in this and, like, what the calories are, I really, I really can, like, appreciate, like, what plain oat milk has done here. This is really good. So let's go over three ratings here. On the scale of how it compares to regular milk, eight and a half, okay? Um, what I would give it based on flavor, like just what it just overall tastes, I would give it a 7.7. .7. Um, now, as far as a third rating, like based on the calories, like 45 calories, that is like nothing. And that's like per cup. Um, like from the flavor to macro um and calorie kind of ratio i would give this like a nine because that's really good flavor for such low calories i really like that i really really enjoy that it's a really good really good taste in my mouth that i really enjoy so i really like this um overall seven seven on flavor guys so that's the review out of the way. Now, I'm thinking, I just want to say one more thing before I wrap the video up. Um, the rest of this week, I'm just going to be kind of doing a lot of, like, food reviews, kind of drink reviews, just to kind of, like, get back and, like, establish my uh, brand on YouTube. But over the next few weeks, though, we're really going to get into more, like, dietary and workout uh, involvement stuff. So, um, I just want to say that I really appreciate you guys watching the video, and, um... Have an amazing day, guys. Thank you very much for watching.